Hey, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on the time zone, wherever you are watching uh, us from. This is yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka from uh, Panuka Farm, right here uh, in the outskirts of Zambia's capital, uh, Lusaka. Specifically, we're in Chivombo uh, district. That's where Panuka Farm uh, is, uh, you know, uh, located. So, I am in the big you know shed net this is a 2000 square meter you know shed net and um, obviously if you're looking at how we constructed this um, there's a video um, that you can actually check out I think on our you know YouTube channel uh, we will try and provide the link um, I think in some of the comments uh, so that you can just check how we put this together so until about two days ago this used to be our biggest you know shed net 2000 uh you know uh square meters so yes we've got a much you know bigger and fancier you know uh net house this is 2000 you know square meters about 40 by 50 but uh what we've now put together is around 10,800 you know uh square meters uh that's about 120 by 90 uh meters and this uh the net house is around just two meters in terms of the height of the poles and what we've done now is actually double that four meters high so obviously uh, you are also equally looking forward to seeing that you know lovely uh, spectacle um, but I think in a couple of uh, days that video um, will uh, come through anyway um, for today I just wanted to just um, talk to you about you know um, the nuances around drip you know irrigation and the setup that we're actually using here uh, for iceberg you know lettuce uh, production uh, so let's dive um, into the field so that um, uh, you can just get to appreciate how we irrigate this you know iceberg you know lettuce and um, just a few uh, issues around the efficacy uh, of uh, drip uh, irrigation so tag along so in here We've got so far around 4,200, um, you know, plant population of Bruma, uh, which is a rags one, you know, iceberg, you know, lettuce uh, variety. Um, and it's actually planted uh, on, you know, double row. So this is in a zigzag, you know, format. Um, so as you can see here. So one on the left and then one on the right and then um, it goes uh, in that fashion. So that's your 4,000, you know, uh, 200 so far. We should be transplanting around an additional 3,000 on the other, you know, far end. So that should have around, you know, 7,000, you know, um, iceberg, you know, heads right here uh, in this massive uh, shed net. So one thing that you actually note is that we do put this drip line right at the center um, of the bed and right now we're actually you know irrigating so all the lines we only put one drip line at the center for double row of iceberg you know lettuce and it's doing its job here but if you check through quite carefully you actually realize that the whole bed here is actually evenly um, wet. There's hardly any point where you actually see uh, a dry, you know, patch. And the reason for that is because the ammeters of the drip lines that we're actually using here are 20, you know, centimeters apart. If you are going to use drip lines that have like, say, 30 centimeters apart, sometimes you end up with um, issues and this kind of double row, you know, growing might actually end up being, you know, a challenge. The issue of, um, you know, drip lines getting, you know, kind of uh, blocked maybe by some buildup of, you know, calcium on the drip lines like that. It's actually quite normal. It does happen. Obviously, you've got to flush, but this is a reality. And so you find certain ammeters are actually not, you know, uh, releasing you know water so if your ammeters of the drip lines are 30 centimeters basically you end up with uh, 60 centimeters 
of no water because of that one ammeter, uh, which is not, you know, um, emitting uh, the water. So with this one here, you can actually see at least here, this ammeter, there's, um, you know, water coming out. And then the next one here, also, the water is coming out. Um, and the next one, so which means these drip lines are actually operating just fine. But then just in case one of them was not operating, you actually see that there's close proximity uh, on these, you know, ammeters. So that would actually come in handy. And of course, you remember the basic lectures around um, osmosis. So that would actually come in handy if one of the ammeters is not um, operating. So the choice of the drip lines that you're actually going to use matters and also the distance between um, the ammeters also uh, will come in uh, you know quite handy so take note because if you're actually going to do double row uh, and then you're using 30 uh, centimeters I think that becomes a bit of a challenge but uh, for us in terms of just growing iceberg lettuce um, such had proved quite very effective and you can actually see the evidence that the entire bed is basically um, wet um, so meaning these drip lines are actually quite effective um, this is TTIP like we indicated um, and we've actually had these drip lines for quite some time now and they still remain quite um, you know effective so in a couple of weeks I'll be able to show you how even this iceberg lettuce will actually come out because of the effectiveness um, you know of these uh, drip lines so there you go this is how these you know uh, seedlings look like um, it's about a day or two uh, now old in the soil um, and yeah uh, like we always do keep you posted on how um, these you know are coming up but so far they're looking very very good um, and the irrigation also looks you know to be um, you know on point um, and this is one of the things that you actually have to be doing every time you are in the uh, field checking whether the ammeters are operating fine obviously once in a while you end up with stuff like this um, where the ammeter is a bit too big and releasing too much water so this is wastage so the team has to be alerted to kind of you know fix this but in the rest of the other parts the ammeters are doing just fine and you can see there right at the center um, and then serving you know uh, both ends uh, of the crop so one other trick why we actually do plant you know these crops on a zigzag and we put this drip line at the center is that it also helps to just lock the drip line right uh, in the middle there so once this crop grows a bit and just in case there's wind you actually see that this you know drip line will actually be kept you know in place because then these crops would have actually grown uh, on the sides okay so that's another trick besides just the fact that it got to serve two masters or two you know rows as it were so yeah lots of benefits all right so i just thought of giving you you know those tidbits around you know irrigation setup you know and how you can actually maximize the use of you know drip lines to basically farm on double rows and um, how you get it right so the key lessons is that next time you actually go out to buy uh, drip lines please make sure that you actually check you know for the different kinds of crops that you have do you need the 30 centimeter or you need 20 or 10 even uh, so that then you can have very you know even you know irrigation you know around here and that's something that we've actually demonstrated to you. You can actually see that the whole bed is basically, um, you know, very wet. Uh, but if you actually do on a 30 centimeter, you end up with gaps, especially if you end up with one ammeter not, you know, um, emitting um, water. So again, those are just some of the nuances uh, and the issues that we take, you know, into account when we are choosing um, the spacing between, 
um, the parameters uh, of a drip, but also the longevity because some of the drip lines are kind of disposable. And so you find they're actually cheap because they're actually disposable. So you just plant in one season and they're gone. But with what we use here, a bit pricey, but then you can actually use it, you know, a couple of uh, times, almost even two years if you're actually keeping them very well. The only issue with drip lines is that don't fold them. Just always just keep them straight. Um, yeah. All right, folks. So I hope those tidbits were quite useful. Um, and we look forward to seeing some testimonies of, uh, you know, some of the lessons that we've given you here. And until next time, this has been yours truly, Mr. Panuka. Have a lovely one. Bye-bye.